The next paper will be about Sultan Qaboos University between e-learning and massive open online course, Future Vision. Welcome all. My name is Mual Kindi, MSc student at College of Science, Computer Science Department. I'm going to introduce to you one of the me and mine and my colleagues' paper, which is entitled Sultan Qaboos University between e-learning and massive open online course as future fashion. The outline of my presentation will consist of the introduction, e-learning and MOOC, following by problem statement, proposed solution, and then discussion, finally conclusion. Today, higher education situation has changed as a result of introduction of technology initiatives. Both e-learning and massive open online course became an essential mechanism in the higher education field which makes students center learning and offering for them a new, more flexible method. From one side, e-learning is um, usually generally used in, uh, higher, in the university around the world and became more and more popular, and there are a large number of universities now working and creating better tools for e-learning. From the other side, massive open online source or the main purpose of implementing MOOC in the higher education field was to provide educational platform for a mass audience. Thus, by providing them to, by creating learning platform for amount of learners from anywhere with simple equipment offering for them courses from best university around the world. So the main purpose of this study is to investigate the future of Sultan Qaboos University between e-learning and MOOC, as well as to examine the importance of offering MOOC in SQU to enhance the limitation of e-learning. To make the picture more clear for you, let me differentiate between e-learning and MOOC according to some references. E-learning is stand for electronic learning, and MOOC is a massive open online course. Actually, e-learning used by single institution with limited number of enrollment, but mock used by many institutions and tend to have enrollment in 10 of 1,000. E-learning is not a mock, but mock can include e-learning or some kind, some type of uh, e-learning. For uh, in terms of network, e-learning is less network. For example, wiki and forums, but mock is more network. For example, blogs, tweet, and wiki. In terms also of size, e-learning is a small size because of the limitation and due to the slowness and connectivity. But MOOC is large size due to the connectivity and large server and internet high speed. Example of e-learning, we have Model, Blackboard, WebCT, and example of MOOC, we have Coursera, edX, Udemy, and so on. In order to embark the massive open online course, massive open online course uh, in Malaysia University, Azan and colleagues in 2016 described framework called ArmadaNet for a multi-institution collaborative MOOC platform. This, uh, the, uh, this framework could allow students from any university to enroll in courses uh, uh, over in other university. The author here used a model as web a platform to implement the multi-institution collaborative MOOC. Also, in 2014, Toha discussed the possibility of integrating MOOC as a part of University of Terboka in Indonesia as learning management system, as an alternative mode of delivery of for UT degree program. So one of the great advantages for Sultan Qaboos University if using MOOC is their global reach rather than restricting an online course to a small group of learners. Also, a CQU can increasingly use MOOC in a blended uh, learning format for their co campus-based courses where the students are required to follow MOOC model. 
Added to that, SQU also can use mock to build meaningful relation to great number of people who are uh, sensory interested in the core activity and output of the university. So the proposed solution, in order to emphasize the need of the higher education, uh, not only in SQU, but also in the college and university in Oman, we have chosen uh, Sultan Qaboos University as a case study for, this, for implementing this study. The following two figures will differentiate between the e-learning and MOOC from the perspective of SQU. Here, as we know, that Sultan Qaboos University has many colleges, for example, College A and College B. Each college has its department. So students, for example, in College A are not allowed or sometimes not allowed to access and enroll courses in College B. So there are some restrictions in the e-learning system. Uh, don't take into consideration maybe the student, they need to expand their knowledge and interest and take courses from outside the college. If we implement the concept of mock in SQU, what we want is to allow students for example, a student from College A now will, can enroll and access courses available in College C and B. Same scenario for the student in College B and C. So, MOOC in SQU can air is, it is priority in the last six years. MOOC system brings higher education situations, a chance to improve their services to students with more easy and cheap. Added to that, the presence of MOOC will enhance will make instructor change their way of thinking or in teaching uh, the material. Implementing mock in SQU without eliminate the rule of e-learning has the chance to transform and up upgrade the learning process. To sum up what mock besides e-learning can offer educationally alternative to traditional classroom or traditional lecture in which learning process can take place outside the classroom. Also, they can also offer a model for students on how to be self-independent student, which may benefit for them to become lifelong learners. The future in the CQU from the as virtual education environment can depend on e-learning and MOOC at the same time without the replacing of e-learning system. And that's some of the use in this study. Thanks, that's all.